Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the color shift pigments um, on a cup. Um, I'm sure you, some of you guys have seen um, my photo of my color shift cup with the purples, blues, and greens. Um, so I had a lot of asks, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. I got my new colors in today. Um, the colors I order are, are from didspade.com. Um, these guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, shipping's great. Their products are great. Um, I only order the 5 gram samples. Um, that's all you really need. Um, some of the samples, if you read um, on the description, some of them require a black background in order to get the color. Some of them require a white. Um, just make sure you read. Also, it'll tell you how much, how far 5 grams will get you. Um, this is the color Atlantis will get you 13 ounces, fluid ounces of um, epoxy with the color. Um, this is a CX38. Um, it's a rose and gold and stuff like that. This will get you nine ounces. The last color I did um, was called Dynasty. That'll get you about nine ounces. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to mix these. Um, I'll let you guys choose. Um, Atlantis is a green color shift. It does a bunch of different greens. And then um, the CX38 does uh, rose to uh, golden orange. So whatever you guys think I should do, go ahead and comment. Um, but until then, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my epoxy. Um, to start off, um, I spray painted my cut black. Um, both of these uh, colors need a black base in order to see um, the color shift on them. Um, especially because uh, like with a white powder shift, um, you're obviously not going to see it on a white cup. You need to do on a black base. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do these. I'm just going to mix my epoxy. Um, like I said, uh, you guys choose. Either choose a rose or a green shift. You know, I'll do whatever one comes up the most. Um, I'm using Famwood epoxy. Um, it's just the type I prefer. Um, I'm probably going to have to upgrade here soon because of the heat. I don't have exact measurements on how much I use, mostly because the cups that I use don't have numbers on them. But that's okay. As long as you get them to equal parts, you should be good. Okay. Looks like everybody's saying rose, so... Um, the rose is called a CX38. Um, for those of you just joining in, um, I get my colors off didspade.com. They are actually um, color shift pigments. They're color shift pearl pigments. Um, they're actually made for car paint. Um, but within the power form, you can apply them in the epoxy. Um, the color that I guess I'm going to apply since uh, everybody's commenting on. It's called CX38. It's a 5 gram sample. Um, it ships from rose to golden orange. You can find these colors on their website um, or you can find them on Amazon. I actually found them cheaper on their website um, and their shipping was cheaper as well. Hi guys, just joining in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix my epoxy. The epoxy I use is called Famwood. Um, I actually get it from uh, Lowe's. Um, you can get it in the paint section near... The, yeah, the paint section. <laughs> Yes, um, the colors that I, the color that I use this is I prefer Rust Oleum. I hate Krylon; it runs too much. I use Rust Oleum paints. It's one um, coat coverage. It doesn't run really. It's the stuff is awesome, but this is a flat black Rust Oleum spray paint. Um, like I said, with these pigments, they require a black base in order to really see the colors. 
So um, make sure if you're doing one of these. Um, most of the colors, the color shift pigments on the website, they'll tell you that it requires a black base. Um, I only order five grams, which is the sample, because we only use so much, we only use a little bit amount of epoxy. Um, so five grams will get you quite a few cups. So I'm just stirring my epoxy right now. Yep, this is actually a stainless steel. This is um, Ozark Trail 20 ounce stainless steel cup. Um, and then I just spray painted it black. Make sure you mix your epoxy thoroughly and all the way through. Um, if you don't, you might get some weird tacky spots on your cup. Just make sure it's mixed all the way. Um, my rust -oleums, I usually get them at Walmart for $3.98. Um, like I said, uh, the website that I order these off of, it's called Didspade, D-I-D-S-P-A-D-E. Um, they are the color shift pearl pigments. Um, the other two selections are much more expensive. Um, I only order five grams. That's all I order. It's a five gram sample. Did spade. Um, I will make sure I put it in the top of the comments kind of thing, but it's D I D S P A D E dot com. These guys are absolutely awesome. They have super fast shipping. Their product is amazing. Um, and the shipping on is is cheap. To ship these two first class mail, it cost me like two dollars and something cents. So, everybody said the rose gold, so we're gonna go ahead and do the rose gold. Um, like I said, they do come in powder form. Um, so, the rose gold mixes up five grams, will get you nine ounces of. Uh, mixed epoxy um, to put the color on. Um, the Atlantis kind I have, that'll get you nine or 13 ounces. Um, but like I said, I only use the color samples. These are actually, I believe, 580 um, per five gram sample. Um, I'm using Family Wood epoxy. Um, I get mine at Lowe's in the, or I get it on Amazon too. Um, it's usually in the paint section. Um, but I'm just going to sprinkle some in here. Don't dump a whole bunch in there because, like I said, um, you can always add more. Um, but it's hard to take anything back. <laughs> so just dump it in there. Now we're just going to mix it in there thoroughly. Do a little bit at a time. Don't dump a whole bunch in at once. Um, that way, uh, you know, you can you're able to judge how much color is actually already in, in there and it won't get all chunky on you. So as you can see, we're already getting some pretty color going on here. I'm not really gonna, I don't think I'm gonna add too, too much more powder. Like I said, I only, I only sprinkled a little bit. Um, like I said, you don't really use um, yeah, a little does go a long way. You really don't need to use a lot, um, especially because the small amount of epoxy that you use on your cups, like I said, five grams will mix nine fluid ounces. That's quite a bit, so only a little bit goes a long way to get your coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply. Turn around here. All right, here we go. This is a new color for me. I haven't put this on a cup yet, so you guys are just joining me for the new ones. And it's looking gorgeous. I love these because honestly, I hate working with glitter. I honestly hate it with a passion. Uh, it never comes out right for me, so I'm always looking for new ways to try to get the glitter look without all the hassle of the glitter. And that's how I found these. I know some people use the chameleon actual paint, but this was 
a lot cheaper. I can do a lot more cups with it, and uh, I can get a lot more colors. They have uh, sets that do greens. Um, some sets. This one does a rose gold with uh, oranges. Um, one I did does blues, purples, and greens. This is um, the color on the website is listed as CX38. It's rose to golden orange. So, like I said, you really don't need a lot. That's why I only order the five grams. Like I said, you can get quite a few cups done out of these, out of just one of these little packets. Um, I have a picture of a finished cup. I actually sold it <laughs> um, of a different color, um, but this is a new color. I've never tried this color before, so because you're joining me for a new color. But this color is looking gorgeous. I like to say, um, yes, use um, a black base. You have to use a black base in order to get the coloring. Um, although, with the rose gold, it seems that you really don't knew, need to do. Um, I'm actually doing a little bit extra because I have silicone molds um, that I use uh, to do keychains. So. That's why I usually make a little extra. It's a Color Shift Pearl Pigment Powder. Um, this is what it looks like. It's from didspade.com. The color is CX38. It's only a 5 gram sample. Um, you can get a whole bunch of different colors. Um, you can get blues, you can get greens, you can get mixtures, purples and stuff, but this is the rose gold. The silicone molds, um, you can find them at Joann's, Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can also find them on Amazon. I've ordered some from Wish. Um, they are actually uh, candy or chocolate uh, molds. Um, they work really great. Epoxy doesn't stick to silicone, so they pop out really easily. Um, this is the silicone mold I'm going to be using. It's a new one I got. Um, they come out looking like this guy. Um, which is what I'm going to pour my epoxy into. Why I've poured a little extra epoxy. But yes, it is a powder. Um, it's not a specific paint. This is actually used for car paint. Um, you get the cool paints in your car. I think this guy will be pretty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm actually um, in front of three bay windows, so I can vent um, if I need to. So. <laughs> um. 
Like I said, I have a bunch of different silicone molds. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen them before. I have flowers. I have, actually I have little Lego dudes. Blocks. Bigger Lego dudes. Um, I actually uh, put them in molds so I'm not wasting too much epoxy. And I actually make little keychains out of them. Super cute. Usually I'll sell them individually or um, I'll give them with the cup that I've sold. I'm using family wood. Um, it is called Did Spade. Um, I mean, same same amount of drying time as any other epoxy really. Um, usually four to six hours. I usually don't do, I usually wait for like a good dry before I do anything with it. Um, for the powder, they're only like 580 for a 5 gram sample. It's on didspade.com. Um, like I said, these guys are awesome. Uh, the, the product is amazing. Um, they, they have amazing customer service. I actually purchased these in the morning and then they had them shipped out that afternoon. Um, and the shipping on them was pretty cheap. So, highly, highly recommend them. Um, you can easy, you can even go on Amazon to find them, but they have the price up a little higher for I think on Amazon they have they're selling them for six fifteen with three eighty shipping. Or on their website it's five eighty for a sample with two something shipping. Um, it depends on how this dries. Um, I might just leave it. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, it all depends on like I said how it settles. Although it's looking it's settling on there pretty nice. And it's doing pretty cool. It's doing purples and rose and oranges, which is gorgeous. Oops, sorry guys, I'm not getting over. Um, like I said, um, if I do a decal, I'll obviously do a clear coat of epoxy. Um, but uh, one of the nice things about using this stuff is that some of the other color shifting glitters and stuff, they, ha they require the UV. Um, to get the most out of the colors. This doesn't. It's a straight pigment powder. Um, the colors are already in it. Um, so like I said, it just changes colors with light uh, or with the, sh with the angle instead of light. And sometimes the epoxy can affect the UV. So this stuff's awesome. Like I said, I don't have to use glitter, which makes me happy. Um, but I still get the sparkly and then you get these really cool effects. So um, I do have pictures of it. Um, I will be posting them. Um, so, like I said, these come out awesome. I actually sold it. So, oh, my turner. Um, this is actually on a crate turner. It's a double, um, two rotisseries built onto a crate. Um, works really well. Um, I actually built this thing in like 30 minutes. It's not that hard to make. Um, and they work awesome. And I get storage. That's bad. Um, I'll be also be doing another cup here soon with the Atlantis. The Atlantis is a green shift cup. Is a green shift color. Um, like I said, it is white, but you put it on a black base, you'll see all the pretty greens. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Um, yes, this is a this is on a crate. My turners are on a crate. I have two singles. Um, I bought the crate at Michael's with the 40% off coupon for like $6 and something cents. Um, I had one rotisserie motor. I bought another one um, and just simply mounted them on there. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I keep all my epoxy stuff inside the crate, um, which is nice. It's all within arm's reach, so. Some people put their glitters in there if they work with glitter, but like I said, I hate glitter, so I try not to work with it too much. But as you can see, this gorgeous cup curing right here. Like I said, you get some purples, some oranges, rose. It's a gorgeous color. And like I said, I can't wait to use the green. Um, but as soon as I upload this, you'll be able to rewatch it. Um, save it if you need to. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything after the video ends, please feel free to comment. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, at the top of the post, I'll edit it and tell you the website, the color I used, the works. Um, you guys are more than welcome. 
Yes, the family wood is FDA compliant. Anytime you use a, you're doing epoxy on a cup, it has to be FDA compliant. Um, if you notice I'm saying compliant um, instead of approved, FDA approved means you can eat it, FDA compliant means you can eat off of it. So keep that in mind. Um, if you guys have any other questions, like I said, please feel free to comment them. I'll be happy to answer. Um, I'll edit the post so it has the list of the website and the supplies I used. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, and I'll be sending pictures of what it looks like finished and uh, possibly the green one once I do that. Have a good day, guys.